Jam School Remix. Hey, if you have a cell phone with the Notepad app, you can pull off this mind-reading miracle from the genius mind of Danny Garcia. I have a list. I wrote a list down on, on my phone. Now, I want you to uh, make sure I'm not going into any crazy apps or anything like that, all right? So I've got a bunch of notes here, all right? But a note that I, I wrote a note down. See this note right here? October 23rd. That's one note right there, all right? There's a bunch of, there's a bunch of words. See, I've got sandwich, cigarette, scissors, a bunch of different words. I need you to think of a number between 1 and 10. It doesn't matter what it is, but don't let me know. Okay. You got it? Yep. I want you to look at the word that's beside that number. Good? Yep. All right, perfect. I'm going to try... Why are you shaking your head already? <laughs> I just feel it coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to invade your brain, all right? Hold on one second. Done. All right. No, Got quick. It. That's not good. This isn't a question. This is an actual statement here. Uh, you're thinking of a small object can actually fit in your hand. It's actually very, very lightweight. It's very lightweight, and it's in the shape of a cylinder, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. He doesn't like this already. <laughs> yeah. He feels it coming. Sometimes you put this to your mouth. Yeah. All right. Uh, think of the first letter. The first letter is almost like an S. Almost like an S. Like it sounds like an S. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the next one is an I. Oh, wait a minute, but the first letter isn't this. It just, it just sounds like an S. It's a C. I, G. Is it a cigarette? Are you thinking of a cigarette? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to mentally fool him. Right there, <laughs> but that just messed me up right yeah. I have this list. Now, this list is a random list, a random bunch of words. I have six spaces, and underneath, I've got another list. <laughs> All three words alternate. Cigarette, pencil, straw, cigarette, pencil, straw, cigarette, pencil, straw, cigarette. Now what I did is I made a list where everything was small, lightweight, in the shape of a cylinder. I know it's either cigarette, pencil, or straw. All right, so I, I close that, I put it away. I start with a hit. I wanna, I wanna seem like I'm actually reading your mind. So I go, this isn't a question, this is a statement. You're thinking of a small object. It's actually small, it can fit in your hand, and it's in the shape of a cylinder. Right, right. And keep in mind, this is also a good like baseline because you can gauge how willing someone is to nod and agree. Because you know for exactly. a fact that this is correct. Yep, I know. And if they're the type of person who'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, then you can know how to read them exactly. from that point forward. Exactly. Yeah. I'm smiling because I know you're about to get there. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. right. You're like, yeah, yeah. Uh, now the thing here too, also, whenever I say yeah, I don't make it like a question, right? So I go, it's small, it's in the shape of, it fits in your hand, it's in the shape of a cylinder, yeah? And it's like a yeah, like a like yeah, like like I just hit that, not yeah, right? Because if you do that tone, then they don't want to, you don't want them to answer. You yeah, know sure, I mean? sure. Then I go into an actual question that doesn't sound like a question. I go, sometimes you put this to your mouth, and if they hesitate, I know instantly it's pencil. Uh, and then I go, no, 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 like the eraser. Whenever you bite a pencil, yeah. right? And then they go, oh, see how you smile? You go, yeah. oh, <laughs> because because it meets up. You know, right, you right. Go, wait, mouth, pencil, straw, got it. And that's the first right. question I ask. All right. So sometimes you put this in your mouth, eh. They say, eh, I know it's a pencil. If they go, yes, I move on to the second question, right? The second, and it's not, it's phrased where it doesn't sound like a question. I go, think of the first letter. Uh, it's almost like an S. If they say no, if they go, no, I go, wait, wait, it sounds like an S, right? And they go, yes, because cigarette sounds like an S. Right. The other one's straw. All right, so I know it's either straw or cigarette. So if you get an instant, like, yes, oh, yes, so yes, go, yes. I go, it sounds like, or it's almost, don't say sound, it's almost like an S. If they go yes, then I know it's straw, and then I just keep going, think of the second letter, it's a T, uh, you know, like that. If they say no, so it's almost like an S, and they go no, I, I touch them again, I go, wait a minute, it sounds like an S. Like the, like the second letter is an I, and it's not an S, it's actually a C, but it sounds like an S, which is odd. Wait a minute, it's a cigarette, right? So it seems like I'm just kind of trying to figure so out this weird unfair. mumble jumble, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah. no, it's totally brilliant. Not only is this a mind-blowing effect, but it is so much fun to perform. As you're reading their body posture and their reactions, it feels as though you're actually reading their mind. And the moment you know exactly what they're thinking of and you see the expression on their face is absolutely priceless. If you're a longtime fan, you know that we're in love with Domain.com, but it turns out they think we're pretty great too. They let us get away with ridiculous sketches, like this one. This is Solid Scam. Die Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Scam? Looks like domain name registry is a real mess in Alaska. Just as I expected. You'll want to use domain.com. .coms and .nets are reliable and trusted. If you need to get them, there's no better place, even in Alaska. The promo offers 15% off. Just use code SCAMSCHOOL. The promo code directly stimulates your wallet. No one but you will get those prices. Got it, Scam? Scam! Scam! Scam School Remix is the best of 10 years and 500 plus episodes of Scam School. You can dive into the whole back catalog and experience time compressed episodes or join us on our new adventure, The Modern Rogue, as Jason Murphy and I attempt to become the ultimate gentleman, warrior, and scoundrel.